Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Beach FM, and we welcome back Ward Councillor for Waikanae, Jocelyn Pravanov. Good morning and welcome to you. Good morning, John. How are you doing today? Oh, okay. I'm feeling much better. It seems as if spring is arriving with a bit of a puff from the wind, uh, notably. But uh, we're beginning to think about the outdoors. And I believe you've been putting some thought into the facilities that we have in this very blessed region in terms of enjoying our environment. Yes, so thank you, John. So, um, so as a as a councillor and as the ward councillor, I wear a number of hats, and one of those hats is actually um, I'm one of the council representatives on the um, cycleways, bridleways, and walkways um, advisory group, and um, it's actually really interesting to hear about how many tracks that we do have in this Kapiti Coast and I suppose one of the things that has become, well I suppose has been apparent to me but also is apparent to a lot of other people is that many of us don't actually really know about these and so um, <clears throat> there's actually a council initiative to get a lot of these tracks onto the, there's a website called the Wellington Regional Trails and so what they're doing is basically showcasing these trails so that um, when people want to get out and about, they can actually have some information about these. And I think, you know, it's it's pretty aver- you know pretty apparent that our summer's going to be very dif- different this year, and even going into you know, maybe next summer, that people are going to be wanting to do things locally. Um, we have a great population in Wellington who probably want to explore areas that they haven't done. Mm. And so uh, there's been a tally that's been done, and so there's actually about, there's just over 50 tracks in the Kapiti Coast. Goodness. Yes, exactly. And I think there's actually probably only eight or nine of those that are um, displayed on our website. And okay. Yes, yeah, and so there's been a, um, a really good initiative by the... Um, economic development team to actually dovetail on the work that the Wellington Regional Trails um, have actually set up and so um, there's a lot of background work that needs to be done on that in terms of first of all identifying those tracks which has been done now but actually getting the information in the the correct format and in a I suppose a um, a format that is going to entice people to come up here to get that and then to get that onto the website and so um, the idea too is to not only to show the, the trails you know, which are a range of you know with cycleways um, walkways and areas that um, horses can go as well but also to tie into some of the local um, cafes and other amenities that are up mm. here so it's really it's, it's actually a tourism it's a real tourism boost. Absolutely, too right. Yes. I'm astonished, 50 of them. I mean, I've certainly done a fair bit of walking myself. So I'll be very interested to, to find out what's happening. The other thing is the expressway, which has added so much utility to the walkways and the cycleways, getting from one uh, of our communities to another. I was just thinking about Pike Creek. Of course, that is joined through Queen Elizabeth Park, isn't it? And along right. the coastal walk there. Yes. So we well, can, in fact, walk through the entire area uh, and do it in an active and healthy way, can't we? Yes, too. And I think, um, you know, obviously there was a lot of um, questions asked when the expressway was going to be put through. And initially... The cycleway, or the, the walkway, was not going to be part of that, and I think that was one of the um, uh, mitigation Indeed. things that was put in place. And it's been an absolute um, win-win for everyone. Yes. And I suppose then extending up to um, from Pikitika to Otaki, there's been an expectation that that something similar to that would happen as well. And I know initially it was not actually on 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 the on the drawing board. Um, and I think when that was realised, there was quite a lot of work done behind the scenes to actually get that on the drawing board. And so I know um, recently, you know, with some of the um, focus group up around Otaki, they've really been talking to how all those trails can extend from Pika Pika all the way up there and how they work. And so it's, it's going to be an amazing network of... Oh, yes. um, 
of facilities up here and I suppose so there's that north south stuff too but also too hopefully in time um, there's going to be a, you know a few more east west connections as well mm. indeed I think it's the best thing about the expressway really uh, the cycle and walkways uh, alongside it and isn't it wonderful to see how much they're being used it's amazing, and it's. I think you know, and I think that's going to happen even more. Um, you know, this summer when you know people have had um, a taste of of what it's actually in their backyard when they've been locked down, locked down through COVID, and so they. And I know there's been a real uptake in terms of people buying bikes, and so I think people are going to be looking at some of those more um, environmentally friendly local activities that people people can actually do. And, you know, they are great activities. Oh, Things yes, you can they do are. with the family. Yep. Um, a range of um, terrains and, and and ease, you know, ease and difficulty. So, mm-hmm. you know, particularly here, our our, um, our landform really um, complement that type yeah. of those types of activities. You know, you've got the Waikanae, you know, river. You know, you've got a, cross, you know, a walkway and a cycleway up and down both sides of it. Um, yes. You know, so you know, you know, particularly you know here in Waikanae, you know, you know we're very well blessed as well. I mean, you've got Hini and you've got the Waikanae um, Estuary Walk. You know, it's it's amazing. It is amazing, no doubt about that. And one of your portfolios is environmental well-being. I'm still not quite sure what that means, Jocelyn, but I'm sure what we're talking about is part of it. Well, that's very much so, and it's actually, you know, marrying um, how these work with the environment to enhance the environment, to get people out there and understand and, and to see what is going on there so they actually have an appreciation. Um, you know, like, you know, I suppose I'm some of my um, work that I'm doing and looking at is, you know, looking at, um, you know, how healthy, for example, the Waikanae River is, and, um, you know, so there's a lot, there actually is a lot of work in that area. Oh, you know, sometimes it, it dovetails into what um, the council is doing, but there's other areas that that you know probably don't, and so it's, it's quite good to have 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 a wider oversight as well. Excellent. Now uh, you talk about these fifty or so cycleways and walkways and bridleways. When can you expect the the website you referred to to be up and running so we can all find out where they are? Yes. So so um, there's a few little. Um, um, achievement goals that need to be done. First of all, so they have been identified, the next thing is to get them in the format that, um, can, so I think um, that the, the trail site has got a, a set of criteria that need to be um, met before these sports can go up. And so um, it's going to the, probably often probably hard copies and actually getting it into the right digital format to get photographs, and then uploading it, and so we're hoping that. Well, I think council are hoping the council staff are hoping that a lot of the stuff will, will actually be start happening by Christmas time. Oh, great! Okay. Oh well, yes, I so, can't wait. Yes, I know it's really quite exciting. It is that, and uh, uh, something else which, of course, has been top of mind for many people. We are a coastal collection of communities. Any progress on the beach by law? Yes. So, um, so. Councillors have, have had a number of briefings over this, and so um, next Thursday, which is going to be the 24th of September, the draft bylaw that is going to go out to formal consultation is going to be co- um, presented to councillors. Oh, right. And yes, yeah, so um, it's actually it's been really, really interesting. Listening to the conversations, and no doubt it will be very, very interesting listening to, listening to the conversations, um, you know, to that draft. And I think there's going to be about a month of um, public consultation time, mm-hmm. and no doubt people will, you know, they they will be able to speak to a hearing if they wish to as well. Um, so it's just a case of keeping abreast of that, and you know, looking at it and seeing. And if, even if you don't actually think what has been proposed, what you know, the few changes that have been made, even if you um, think they're okay, it's always really important to actually say so rather than just think, well, it's you know, it's a done deal, but it may not be. Indeed.
Okay, well, that's getting close again. Uh, the yes. uh, next Wednesday, just around the corner, so we'll okay. look forward to that with great yes. anticipation. Yes. Jocelyn, next Thursday. Next, or next Thursday. Thursday, right, next Thursday. Yes. Well, thank yes. you for that, and thank you for your company this morning. I realise you're yes. very busy, especially today. Ed, it's been great to have you here on BGFM. Yes. Thank you. Yes, lovely to talk again, John. Thank you. Have a nice day. 106.3 BGFM.